Alright, what is going on to it is your boy Super or Smalls or Alfie or you know it's that no grills. Paul Wall, baby. My internet ran out, so I got in the mood for shooting some videos. My internet's back, but I'm like, let's just shoot this one. What's that box? Oh, that is time to do it. Just unbox it. Get it over with. Oh, it's funny because I read somewhere that Reebok is back on the market to be sold. I think their sales have been pretty bad, so I think Adidas dropped them. Um, so yeah, that's crazy. And boom, Reebok box. I've had a box like this ever, so that's pretty cool. It's like the black and blue. Shout out to the Backstreet Boys album, Reebok low wing fonting right there. There and on the bottom, normal Reebok text. Got a 10 and a half in these runners. Let's just unbox it together. Can you see it? I can kind of see it. Tissue paper, nothing else in the box. No quality control. Hmm, maybe that's why I'm not And they are the Bang. Reeboks Daytona DMX 2s. This orange and gray colorway, man. And black colorway. So I was trying to read up on this shoe, or this specific colorway in preparation. I couldn't find the colorway name for this shoe, but yo, here it is. They've had a lot of DMX 2 colorways that I've kind of looked at. They had like these ones that were like, almost in a Concord colorway, kind of like uh, that tiger from that fighting game that I can't remember. That's that shoe, and that's what made me think of it. Boom. I can't remember the names right now. King Tiger? I don't know, King something. But this one was cool because it has um, a majority of orange right there, so I don't have anything really too orange. I got a pair of like Nike Fly Knit Chuckas, but like I don't have anything in a runner kind of shoe, so this is pretty cool. That runner kind of vibe. But yeah, a lot of the colorways for this shoe are just not popping enough. They're pretty simple. Nothing uses like crazy primary like loud color like orange. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh, it's cool. They had one size left on the website, size 10 and a half, so I'm like, yeah, why not? I had a 20 or 30% off coupon, so I'm like, it'll be deducted even more. I can't remember what I paid, but that's what I paid right there. Not a bad price in my head, it wasn't a bad price. I think it was like $101 all in with everything. So yeah, again, it's with your normal runner. Um, I kind of compare it to like an Air Max. Shoe, this is like Reebok's version of an Air Max. Um, you got that mesh material up top right here, as you can see in that gray. You get gray oval laces with black lace loops right here and an orange lace loop in the middle. A Reebok logoing right there. Um, yellow with a black to white gradient backdrop. Your DMX logoing on the back right here in yellow. Surrounded by gray meshing with orange piping around peripheralization right there towards the toe, towards the middle of the shoe. Again, that orange all throughout. They don't really have a color code. This is a really like a pumpkin orange. Kind of like two-tone here, so it's like almost right here, it's like a faded pastel-ish, like like flirting in the pastel zone. And right here, it's really that pumpkin orange um, all throughout. And right here, I think this might almost even be 3M. I'll take some shots for you and see what else 3M. Again, small little Reebok logo right there, DMX logo right there. I think it would be really cool if they, like a big ass like Reebok Rebox, Reebok glowing like boom right there. I don't know if that would disrupt the shoe too much, but like take that and just like on the side, like almost like a spray paint. Bottom look like this, get your yellow hits right here, orange, black, all throughout that DMX sole, which is really cool. Again, just a nice runner shoe. I think uses the colors that are on it very well. Um, your inserts are just small little paper towards the toe, nothing, not even a, towards the mid of the shoe. And then the insole looks pretty cool if I could take it out. Man, last time I struggled, can't remember what shoe it was, but I struggled, I think it's Torrision sole, I struggled taking it out. But yeah, I'm not gonna take this out all the way cause like it feels like it's one of those sticky soles again. Um, but as you can see, DMX logoing right there. Thought that was really cool. Heel to toe, moving cushioning. Um, again, there's only size 10 and a half, but nowadays I like to usually size up anyway. Um, it's kind of giving me like Jordan 11 vibes right here from the bird's eye view as you can see. Like the patent leather doesn't go all the way, but it kind of does, so like Jordan 11 vibes. So I was gonna get a size 10 and a half anyway, go up half a size. I'll try them on for you. Probably lace them all the way to the top. Nowadays that I'm sizing up to 10 and a half, I just wonder if I am a true 10 and a half now. And I should just get 10 and a half. But uh, I know like for Jordan 1s and stuff, shoes that are more so true to size, I know I'm a 10 at heart. And even like a nine and a half in some shoes. Like Black Cement 3s, I'm a, I'm a nine and a half. Cause like I tried on a size 10 and like I was creasing the shoe already. So again, it just depends on the shoe. Again, life lesson for y'all. Even if you think you're a true size, you got a hundred shoes in one size and you're trying out a new model, try that shoe on cause you never know. Yeah, 10 and a half works great. My right foot is bigger than my left foot. Nine and a half. 10 and a half works perfect. The shoe is a little bit on the longer side than it is the the uh, narrow side as you can see it's pretty long I can feel that it's a longer shoe but there's somewhat of a give in the width department very really cool shoe I like how it looks for sure that top is very nice and chill with the darker grays and then when you get to the sides and the bottom you get the brighter orange colorway which is really cool hits of yellow too to wrinkle in a little bit of a different look and a different scheme in there I like the bottoms how it looks look like those Adidas Torjons that I had but yeah, really cool shoe I like it if you can get it for a good price these are probably outlet shoes anyway definitely go ahead and cop um, comfortable ish it's very firm um, which I like, but not like hard. It's firm, but not hard. Um, the kind of com comfy firm, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if I can compare this to anything like this 992, but this 992 is a little softer than this one's firm, but right around the same comfort zone in terms of this is just a little bit softer than this and they give the same kind of comfort. Really cool shoe. Again, 3M hits. I'll let you know right here. I'll show you all the 3M hits of this shoe right now. Oh wow, I didn't think that would be 3M. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, okay, cool. 
but yeah, I could kind of tell when I was walking uh, what parts were 3M. But yeah, really cool shoe. Again, if you can get it for a good price, I definitely would as well. If you're looking to add some Reeboks to your collection in this runner colorway. We are on a runner wave right now. And if you don't want Nike 97s or 98s or stuff like that, because everyone is wearing 97s, especially 97s, exclusively 97s, then you can definitely go to these. And these are a lot cheaper. The DMX um, cushioning is very good, actually. I don't know if I could run in these. I'm sure these were running shoes way back in the early 2000s and stuff. But uh, yeah, you could definitely, definitely pull these off casually. And I think if you're running errands and stuff in these, they'd be really cool. This is almost kind of cool right here. Almost kind of looks like Nike React right here. Like how React kind of looks. But yeah, it kind of looks like Nike React, no? I think this is one of the better colorways of it, too. Again, they could do this like have an all black upper here in the mesh and then do a red right there that would be cool and they could play with it that way because a lot of the colors here 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 and here as you can see are very plain compared to this one but this one i think does it for me in terms of the kind of person that i am and like louder shoes again that jordan 12 vibe right here it kind of comes all the way up but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions on the reebok daytona dmx twos down below in the comments are you a fan of runner shoes and how runners are kind of the way right now um, the wave runners ha <laughs> ha um but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions down below do you like the shoe but hit the colorway love the color but hit the shoe i'm about to hit you guys in the info but i'm gonna do it tomorrow because it's nighttime right now and you won't be able to see anything but i'm gonna shoot some 3m right there after this and your boy oh don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed that was that and these are the reebok daytona dmx twos in this pumpkin jack lantern colorway just in time for halloween and your boy paul wizzle does it match is out baby peace i'm not gonna drop these because Daytona, it's gonna be a surgical summer. Easy money.